What's up everybody, Lyle, no hippie trucking and transportation coming at you for the last time today. Sorry to keep coming back to back to back on you, but uh, have a lot of time to think once my brain settles down and I'm not driving this truck and all this kind of stuff. And I got thinking, you know, I start seeing all these students coming through Prime, some of which are at the beginning of their working career, you know, early 20s, things like that some at the end of their career you know but one thing I want everybody to know that's just getting into this especially if you happen to be younger is this whole trucking space is like it's like an orange okay an orange is worth nothing unless you can extract the juice out of it and one thing I noticed and I noticed this before I even got into trucking I happened to notice it on my way to Salt Lake City when I was going out there for training. And it kind of scared me a little bit. I did a video on this a while back, but uh, maybe at the beginning of my trucking career. I pull into a truck stop just because I'm leaving Denver, going out to Salt Lake City, and I kind of wanted to get the experience a little bit. So I pull into a truck stop and there's this older husband and wife. I think they were a team truck and I look at you know, I was sitting kind of next to them, eating my little Taco Bell. I think it was, it was one of the TAs in uh, Wyoming. So I'm sitting next to them and kind of listening to what's going on, and it actually scared me. Now I don't know where they were at financially, any of that stuff, okay? But it got me thinking about things and put my mind where I needed it to go, and. I didn't even know the sacrifice it was going to take to be a truck driver at that point. I had a totally different set of of uh, ideas of what I thought trucking was like. But uh, one thing I noticed early on is that this job is not worth it if you do not get what you need to get out of this. Now there's plenty of jobs that you can have either making less money, more money, whatever, that you don't need to pull everything out of it because it doesn't take everything out of you. This job takes literally damn near everything out of you. And if you do not have a goal on what you're trying to accomplish with this career, what ends up, what could end up happening is you could end up driving for 10, 15, 20 years and look back and have nothing to fucking show for it. That is not a good idea. Now, some jobs you could do that. You know, you could go work. Even my last industry, I mean, I, it was stressful, but it didn't take everything out of you. You know, you work and let's say you put in a 20 year career there and you don't have anything to show for it after that. You know what? At least you have time with your family to show for it. Kids, you know, you have you know friend relationships you have you have all the stuff that goes along with having a normal life to look at and say you know what maybe I'm not where I wanted to be financially you know whatever but it was worth it and actually most people don't think about if it's worth it or not because most jobs aren't gonna push you to this degree to make you feel like is it worth it if I don't get this at the end and it's something you know I try to kind of look at myself like an older, older statesman when it comes to this because, yeah, I think I'm a little bit older than most people that are coming into trucking for sure. And then some of the people my age that have been trucking for a long time are far past hearing anything I have to say. But you need to have a plan, whatever that plan is. Now, my plan is different than anybody else's plan or, you know, maybe different, you know. But whatever your plan is, you need to focus in on that and get that shit done and let it, let trucking get you there if this is what you choose to do. Because there is nothing more fearful to me than being on the road multiple years at a time, spending time away from my family, and then when it's over with, whether I want it to be over with or not, you know, the other things can dictate if it's over with, you know, or not and have nothing to show for it. So, 
I am like very focused on what I want done. And that focus has nothing to do with money. A lot of people are like, oh, Lyle, you know, you can make more money here. You can make more money there. Listen, the trucking income is just a catalyst for all the other stuff I plan on doing. And people are like, well, you know what? If you worked here, you can make more money more money to do that. Well, if I look at it like that, there's always going to be a bit place where I can make more money. There's always going to be another better place. If I find a place that fits in the scheme I want with low stress, low headaches, and if, if somebody can't accomplish what they need to accomplish on $100,000 a year, then there's a problem with them. I was a banker for years and the people that were the everyday millionaires weren't the people that made all the money in the world. All right, so let's get the money or go and work in somewhere else thing out of the way. Not that that doesn't work for anybody else, but for me, I just need steady income coming in because that money is gonna be the money that I turn into some shit down the road. Now, I've already done okay in the real estate you know, me and my wife's house is going well. We have another investment property. We sold a couple that was that allowed us to do some things. And now it is, you know, I made a left turn and did something I didn't think I was going to do, which was do a lease purchase on this truck. You know, that was, you know, total maybe about $17,000. A year later, which is now, doing a lease purchase on another truck to put an excellent driver in. If you happen to be watching this, I cannot wait to have you ripping and running down the highways. Girl is fearless, yo. I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, another $20,000 on another truck coming, or 19-something, on a truck that's coming in. That's all trucking money. That was none of my money that I put in that I came into trucking with. That's all trucking money. Now, once I'm done with all this and get everything settled there, you know, we've already, me and my wife have already started this other, you know, she has her 401k, so we're working on that. Uh, I'm going to start dedicating $1,000 a month to just blue chip stocks. You know, I just bought some Hershey. My TA stock is coming up. That's not a blue chip stock, but I just felt like I had to support the industry on that one. But uh, just blue chip stocks, Coke, Pepsi, Johnson Johnson, GE, you know, stuff that's going to be good in the long term. $1,000 a month, stuff like that. Uh, Prime has their little 10 year thing, so see how that goes. But uh, possibly, once everything sells down, looking at buying a little crash pad out in Springfield, Missouri. And like I said, those are my goals. That doesn't necessarily have to be your goal. I was also thinking Tulsa. What's up, Chuck? Trucking through life, Tulsa. Uh, but just it doesn't matter what my goals are I'm just throwing those out there because sometimes throwing my goals out there makes me more accountable for what I'm trying to do but uh, whatever your goals are and it could be totally different than what I think is logical you know if your goal is to have the best car in the world you know by the time you get done truck driving you better have the best car in the world because this puts too much on you to not get what you need out of it. Okay, I'm just going to say this right here. Again, this video may not be for everybody, but this is one of those times that hopefully it hits the right person to realize that if you're in this business, it's not all about, you know, you. I guess you can find those true truckers out there where, you know, extracting what they want out of trucking is trucking. But outside of that, if you don't fall into that, have some goals about this shit. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have goals, it's, I hate to say it like this. If you don't have goals, and I'm not saying prime, or you could be an owner operator, this industry will pimp you out. And if you are like the normal prostitute that doesn't know what to do with that income anything that you made and it could be listen we're not talking about how much money you make there's always gonna be somebody saying i make more money here i make more money it's all relative okay the uh most disciplined person making 50 percent less than an undisciplined person uh is always going to come out ahead 
So, another video I was going to do was somebody was asking about taking loads or what, how I turn down loads or why I would turn down a load or, you know, somebody would say if they pay, you know, if somebody paid me 10 grand I, or 20 grand, whatever it was, I'd go down into, you know, wherever it could be, Manhattan, whatever, it doesn't matter. If it's always about money, it can't always be about money. Because in the end, it's going to all average out. You have to have something but besides money to motivate you. Anyway. Have some goals, okay? Especially you young people. If you really, really put your mind to it have your goals set straight you can pull so much out of this industry that is unbelievable but then again you come in you don't have your head screwed on straight you could spend 20 years driving this truck and have absolutely nothing to show for it and that is absolute insanity and fear of me even thinking about it so hopefully this touches the right person that's in the right place to listen to this anyway I'm done with videos for today I do want to thank you for stopping by no hippie trucking and transportation comment subscribe and I'm out